Hi friend, it's Hunter from Interactive and in this tutorial I will show you how to add and delete anchor points in Adobe Illustrator. This tutorial will go over two methods to effectively edit anchor points and handles. I'll also show you how to create paths that are clean, but first you'll need to understand why we need to do this. Now we know that Illustrator creates paths using anchor points and handles. So why is it important to know how to use anchor points and handles to create clean paths and why it is better to have less anchors? The first reason is to do with the speed of Illustrator. Because Illustrator is a vector program, every point and handle is a calculation the software has to make. So when you start working with files that have lots of points, it slows down your computer. Now this may not be a problem if you have a very fast computer, but but there is a second more important reason for clean parts. Let's say for example, you've been given the task to alter the typeface in a document that has been provided. But when you open it and go to edit the outlined type, you are met with your worst nightmare, 101 anchor points. It is easier to work with four anchor points as opposed to 50. And when creating paths, it is much easier to make clean curves with as little points as possible. The more anchor points you use, the more room for error. Now, this tutorial is for anyone who knows how to use the basics of Illustrator. But don't worry, I put together a free workshop that will teach you the three must know tools inside Adobe Illustrator as a beginner. It's perfect for anyone starting out in Adobe Illustrator and will teach you the tools responsible for almost every design made inside Illustrator. You can check it out by clicking the first link in the description. So there are two ways to create clean paths, the automatic way or the manual way. Now I prefer the manual way as I have more control over the handles that are placed. But in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate both and let you judge which method works. Or of course, combine the two methods. Let's start with the automatic way. All right, so I've jumped into Illustrator and I'll show you the simple method first. And it's this really powerful tool in Adobe Illustrator called the Simplify tool. Now with my direct selection tool, I can select this shape here. And you can see that there's a ton of anchor points and handles in this shape that are pretty much unnecessary. There's loads in here and that was to do with the font when I added more points. There was this jagged edge in the font that I downloaded. So what I can do is go to Object, down to Path, and simplify and that'll simplify the selected path that I have automatically so this is auto simplify this is what Illustrator wants you to do and what Illustrator deems as the best result we can come in here and we can click auto simplify and we've got more options to adjust we can also come in here and show the original path and the original anchor points so the red is the points that the Auto Simplify has created and the green is the original points. Look how many less points we have. So it went from 276 points down to 36. And what we can do is hit OK and that will refine it. And we could leave it like this. This is fine. The Auto Simplify has created a few little issues though. This corner here now, it sent that corner out. We can edit the handles, pull them back in like so, fix these edges up a bit. What I'll do now is show you my favorite method for removing anchor points and cleaning it up a bit. So we need to add and remove anchor points to do this. So what I'll do is showcase it over on this circle here. If I select this circle, you can see the anchor points in R. If I select this circle, you can see that the anchor points are in random positions. And if I edit this, and say I want to make this circle a little bit bigger and I've got to bring all the edges out and make it bigger. You can see that all these points are creating a really hard to edit the anchor points. So what I want to do is add it on the extremities and add it where I can have horizontal and vertical paths. So what I'll do is go from the center straight up to the outer most edge up the top and I'll try and add the point to the path so I'll use my plus key to add a point there and I'll go to the extremity on the right and down the bottom and over the left and now what I can do is use my minus key to just shift click and take away 
those other unnecessary points that we have in the document like so and as you can see it's created our circle as closely as possible got an issue here with this tangent being too small so when creating a circle you want all the parts all these handles to be the exact same length and that'll create a really nice circle but as you can see it's easier to work with less anchor points and hold the shift key and snap them vertical and horizontal than to work with handles that are going every which direction so what we can do is come over to the letter b and in this case there's loads of points so we're going to use the simplify first object path simplify we'll let illustrator do the work and then we can click off the simplify click back onto the shape and then we can start cleaning this up so we want to add points onto the extremities like the tops here and remove other points the minus key shift click and remove other points and straighten these up so they're horizontal and you can use the shift key to snap them horizontal and vertical and we can do this everywhere so here we want to move this point up a bit straighten this up bring that bit down we could add in more points here but i don't think that's necessary you can see how much cleaner that curve is in here we've got this funny edge here and so what i would do is add it to the extremity of the curve using my plus key add it down the bottom here use my minus key shift click and straighten that up you can see there created a really nice curve we'll put it down the bottom here point in there we can quickly and easily clean all these shapes up so wherever there's little issues like this looks a bit funky we can come in here let's move this anchor point or add an anchor point here so plus key add an anchor point up there use my minus key edit that anchor point like so now for this one I need more anchor points so I need one down here edit this I actually need one up the top too to fix this bit up you can drag it up you can see we can create a much nicer curve you would work with this a little bit more than what I have you can create a really nice curve really quickly by keeping all those points horizontal and vertical and straightening everything up now for something like this we haven't got a really smooth curve down the bottom so what I would want to do is stretch these out a bit more and we can create a nice bowl in there and we can add a point in here it's much easier to edit this point than edit these ones we'll keep that vertical might drag that point right down straighten you up drag that back up a bit we might want to add in a point here and we can go around and adding in points everywhere to make it so the anchor points can have handles that are horizontal and vertical all right that's it for this tutorial if you didn't quite understand what was going on i have that workshop which will help you learn the pen tool and two other tools that you must know as a beginner in adobe illustrator if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to stick around for more tutorials coming to this channel like this one and i'll see you next time